Yeah, so I'm realizing I can use an option that I found. Oh, wait, wait, let me do it this way. Um, hmm. uh, you know what? I don't think this is going to work well for uh, live stream. So I'll just uh, record it and <laughs> maybe upload it. So I was just uh, saying that I'm realizing an option on Zoom that I found recently could uh, help me um, deal with some of the high CPU usage by Zoom that I've seen before. Um, it could be worth trying it out. So, so what it is, is the feature that I found is a way to keep my uh, Zoom window on top. And that is nice for this reason, because then what that allows me to do is can I can have my video in some corner somewhere and I can be clicking on stuff and oh, and this actually also has that. Uh, so I can click on stuff, do stuff here without um, Zoom stuff going away. And you know, the screen sharing thing, I'll probably keep it on the other window. No reason for that to be here. So I think this is actually a way to, you know, do what I want to do. So I might try this out except there are still limitations here, as in what I really want Zoom to do is set, record this as a separate video, because uh, most of the time I am going to just want to show, um, you know, the thing like this. And I, I really think I don't want to make a real time decision on whether I want to have my video in recording or not. That's something I would uh, like to do in, in an editing process. So anyways, this is probably my plan B. I'm hoping my updated Zoom app will actually make my recent uh, CPU usage problem go away, at least to the extent that it doesn't slow down my computer unreasonably. But this is my, well, maybe plan B isn't quite right. It's my plan C. So let me stop the recording here. Oh, and I'm gonna have to restart the meeting so that Zoom will actually generate the file and I'll upload this to my channel. I've had like six videos on trying to fix this issue. So, All right, bye, <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me stop the recording here.